Hey guys, Helen Hart Smith here again from the Heart of the Witch's Path YouTube channel. Hope you're having a good day. I totally am because I'm spending some time with y'all. Woo! So, as promised, here, now, today, we are going to do a haul video. This is going to be a haul video of all the lovely, wonderful things that I purchased while at Convocation 2019 Dearborn, Michigan at the Doubletree Hilton Hotel. Um, I feel like I always have to say when I do haul videos is that, you know, I find I've I feel weird doing haul videos, but um, it's kind of fun to share um, some treasures that you find. And so that's why I, I continue to do them. But I just wanted to say that in no way, shape, or form by doing a haul video am I being boastful about what I have. I just want to share with you some cool things that are out there and maybe some cool vendors that are available. Okay, so that being said, let's jump in. Oh, and I want to do, okay, I want to do this first one before I forget, and I actually pulled it off my hand so that I didn't forget. Okay, so if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw this already. I did a little video uh, to post on when I bought it. I bought this gorgeous, let's see, is it going to... I think that looks pretty um, focused. This is a gorgeous Labradorite ring set in silver. You know, I went in to the weekend knowing that I wanted a Labradorite ring. And <clears throat> I purchased this. Here, let's kind of hold it up there um, so you can get some of the the reflective juiciness. So um, now I'm like forgetting the name of the vendor. Uh, the vendor that I purchased this from, I've actually purchased other things from. Um, my Moonstone ring. Oh, geez. The whole focusing thing might be an issue today. So this Moonstone ring that I've I've worn for years. I've literally had it for years. I purchased it from the same vendor. And this thing... Because the stone is large and it's a bulky ring, I hit it on things constantly. Um, and I think that perhaps the stone could use a little polishing if that's possible. Uh, but it wears so beautifully and the silver is great. I love this ring. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Um, so I purchased it from the same uh, vendor. I also have a really gorgeous moonstone pendant. I probably could have purchased or I probably could have grabbed it before um, but it has a large moonstone that's probably about so set in silver it's it's another gorgeous piece and uh, oh, I, I shared on the Instagram post who the vendor was and the name is totally escaping me right now I want to say that it's henna something something they do have a website I will put a link in the description box they deal exclusively with moonstone and labradorite but they've got some gorgeous uh, purple labradorite as well as the regular labradorite and their prices are phenomenal I only paid $44 for this gorgeous ring Keep it in folk or keep it in frame, Helen. $44 for this ring is insane. It's insanely good price. Um, so I love it. So there's that. Now let's kind of continue on with stones and then we'll kind of move on to some of the other things that I purchased. So um I feel like I should say that some of the vendors, I know who they are, and I'll share them with you, and some might even have a physical location. Um, but if, they're, if they have websites, um, I will definitely share them in the description box. So let's start with this guy, these two. So I'm at the point right now with my crystal purchasing that I'm a little... I'm a little bit more selective. Um, in the last year, I really wanted to up my crystal 
um, quantity that I had because I want to do crystal grid work. We've talked about that before. Um, so now I'm looking for pieces that speak to me and I'm also looking for pieces to do for future videos to share information with you guys. I've had a really good response for the Rocks 101 classes that I'm doing and so I'm looking for uh, different stone types that I have so that I can show you, uh, you know, maybe some raw, you know, some different shapes and things like that. So this is one thing that I purchased for that purpose. This is a K2 tower. Um, and so this is actually granite with, I believe it's azure, azurite, that little, that little blue fleck that, well, it's not really a fleck, but that little blue spot that you see there. Uh, K2 is a really cool stone that I found out about a few years ago when I traveled to a, um, a store in Traverse City. That's where I purchased my, well, my one and only. This is only my second piece. Uh, but it's a nifty stone, so I want to share some information about that. So you got to have some specimens to show, right? <laughs> so there's that one. And then this little guy here, this is another fluorite. And this one, I don't know if you'll necessarily be able to tell in this light, but it is, this is an all green specimen of fluorite. And so that's definitely, I've got a lot of fluorite <laughs> and the roommate, I think it's her favorite stone because she seems to gravitate towards that in what stone crystal uh, things that she has purchased. So uh, fluorite, that's definitely a video that I want to uh, do in the future here. Um, oh, let's, Let's share this guy. I have a I have a thing for spheres. I really like crystal spheres. So let's see. Can we can we get a good look? There we go. This is mystical merlinite, otherwise known as indigo gabo. And I have a small uh, raw piece of this particular stone. Um, and so I wanted to learn more about it. And when I, when I picked up this guy, um, yeah, he spoke. <laughs> so this I actually bought from a vendor. Um, I believe her name is Donna and she has a business in Sagatuck, Michigan, and her store is called Mother Moon. And we've actually been to the store. It's a lovely little place. She deals with lots of stones. I want to say it was her store where I purchased my very first piece of Bumblebee Jasper. And it's from her last year that I purchased that big Labradorite Palm Stone that was kind of a catalyst for this whole crazy rock adventure that I've been on uh, in the last year. So she's got some amazing stuff. Um, she doesn't carry just rocks. She has a really good book selection. She's got some great statuary. Uh, so this guy um, really wanted to come home with me. I'm hoping that you can kind of, it's hard for me, geez Louise, it's hard for me to hold this and like view if you can see it. <laughs> so I got, I got him and I got a cute little stand that goes with him to display on. So um, that was my sphere purchase, my big sphere purchase. Um... I also picked up from Mother Moon. She had a few of these. Uh, she referred to them as uh, full moon faces. And so she had probably a good six or eight of these. And uh, quite a few of them sold during the weekend. I want to say my girlfriend Lee picked up a couple to bring home. So this is actually uh, Lapis Lazuli which is an awesome stone um, and one that I really like. It's a stone that's sacred to my patron goddess, Briad. And so I was excited to bring, bring this guy home. Um, there's some really great markings on this. And so it's kind of like a sphere with, of course, the face carved into it. And then it's got a nice little flat surface so that it stays when, you know, when you 
when you put it down, it, it stays just like that. It's so darling, isn't it? And so each of them had um, kind of a little different face. And so I thought they were so stinking cute that I had to bring one home with me. I mean, come on, right? Uh, and then the last stone I bought, this guy uh, spoke to me and was not what I intended on purchasing. So here we have another tower. Is that, I think it's focusing. So this is actually a hematite tower. And so I was actually looking at a palm stone that was, you know, a decent sized palm stone of black tourmaline. And so I, I kept picking that one up and, and was thinking about purchasing it. But then I picked this up on a whim and oh my gosh, you guys, the energy that comes off, like there's still like a ridiculous amount of energy that I feel from this. And I, you know, of course, hematite is really good for uh, pulling negative energy and storing it away and things like that. I mean, this guy is like a vessel of awesomeness and I've actually been carrying him around with me ever since I came home. So I'm really glad that I purchased this. I wish that I could have done both, but I had spent you know, some money over the weekend. So, and this was kind of like one of the last purchases that I made. So I'm glad that, I'm glad that he's the one that came home with me. So, and look, we have a bag of awesomeness here. So that was all the stones. So this is kind of everything else. So I'm going to try, let's just put that bag back down. I'm going to try not to make a bunch of background noise. So one thing that I picked up, you've heard me talk a lot about uh, Jackie Smith and her company Coventry Creations. She's the candle lady as she's known in a lot of circles. Well, she doesn't sell just candles. As a matter of fact, she's really, uh, she started this, it's, it's official, but it's like not super official. I don't know if that makes sense. She started this thing called the Witches Union and she had these really cool little like membership cards. I'm pretty sure that I have one in my wallet still. So it's like, you know, a little ID size thing that you're, you're an official, you're, you're in the Witches Union, you're in the spell ca casters club. And so she kind of started that thing and it started off with the cards and then she's kind of merged it out, the idea out from there. So it's not anything that's like heavily sanctioned or anything like that. It's just kind of a fun thing that if you identify as a witch, these are some things that you can buy and it's kind of fun. So she's got coffee mugs with the official seal on it. And do we have, where's the, okay, the official seal is here on the back of the package. Let's see, are you going to focus? Yes. So there we have the Witches Union official kind of seal. So she, like I said, she has mugs. Uh, I've seen like journals. I've seen, I want to say that I saw um, little matchstick boxes that were, I think, made from pewter or something like that. But one thing that myself and my coven sisters have kind of gotten into are these um, patches. So I haven't I don't think I've really talked about it maybe here on the channel. Maybe that's an idea for a future video. Um, I know I've done a blog post about ritual wear that uh, my coven established a few years ago. And part of our ritual wear is we made, uh, we're in the process of making for everyone, these long black vests that have hoods on them. And so the idea is that that's kind of something that's... Uh, uh, it's sexless, so men or women could use it because our normal ritual wear is a long, sleeveless, tank-style uh, dress slash robe. And so there are some people that don't want to wear something like that, and so we included the vest to, you know, kind of incur in in include everyone kind of a thing. And so the idea with that vest is that if you wanted to, you could, you know, put some patches on it and kind of make it your own. And so I've actually purchased some of the patches. So there's the official Witches Union logo like you saw. And, um, and so I picked up this one. This is the Divine Guide Guidance by North, South, East, and West. The Divine Guides my journey. So that is the patch 
for that. And I haven't gotten too crazy. They're, like I said, they're fun. It's nothing that's officially sanctioned or anything like that. It's just some fun things. So if you've got a denim jacket and you want to put some really cool stuff on it, you know, that's, that's what these are intended for. So I picked up one of those just to put on my, on my vest and be cute, you know. Um, <clears throat> So another thing that I picked up, I picked up a couple of books. These books are all are both from the Llewellyn series that has come out in the last year or so. There are seven books in this series, and it's called the Witch's Tools series. And so I plan on reading all of these and um, and doing reviews and such. But these are two by Jason Mankey. So we have The Witches of Thame. And we also have The Witches Book of Shadows. And so these, um, I haven't really gotten into one yet, but it looks like there's a lot of history. There's a lot of, you know, information surrounding whatever that particular tool is. And so uh, with the purchase of these two books, that brings my total of the series. They're all kind of like right here at my fingertips. I have five of the seven. So um, I'm pretty excited to get all of these and then to read them. And so inside of them, them, I have a couple of mini art pieces. Uh, these are two pieces by Zaharo. I've talked to, I've done an entire video on uh, Megan and her artwork and I have both of her decks. I have her tarot deck and her uh, oracle deck. So this is one that's obviously titled Stones and Bones. Um, this is a really great representation of what her artwork is like. She, um, I believe she claims the word or the title of Art Witch for herself, which I absolutely love. Let's see, I'm trying to keep the glare off as well as show you the piece. So these are just a couple of her mini prints. So um, these are... These are nice things to use for a bookmark if you want. Um, so she is, she has an Etsy shop. So I will put a link below to her Etsy shop if you're interested in um, seeing any of her other artwork. And I'll link my uh, my video where I talk about the artwork that I had at that moment. I have only gotten like these two things, I think, sis, since I made that video. But um, I love her. She's really, really fun. Um, so we're going to... Put these on the shelf right there because that's close to where they're gonna live I I've been keeping this separate <laughs> from everything so I didn't put anything away Ooh, let's do these so also from Coventry creations um, they make Jackie makes and sells some of Dorothy Morrison's products. And so Dorothy Morrison, if you don't know who she is, shame on you. Go look her up because she is an amazing author, a really great teacher, and just an all-around fine-ass woman, okay? I like to call her Miss Dorothy because I respect her so much. Anyhow, Dorothy has her own um, line of candles and sprays and oils, and Jackie produces the candles, I believe, um, and I think Dorothy probably makes the sprays and the oils on her own, I think is how I understand it. So I picked up a couple of her oils. So we have here Poof and we have Red Stilettos. And so, hmm, I'm trying to remember because there isn't a description on these. Um, if you're, if you want to know, Poof is to kind of like clear things out. Let's see, am I holding these so you can see the label or am I just being a bad hand model? <laughs> Anyhow, these are scented oils that you can use to anoint your own candles or um, these are safe. They're not a straight up essential oil. It is in a carrier. So I have used these oils and I've put them on my skin before. She has um, one called Road Opener. 
I can't remember if that's a Dorothy oil or if it's a Jackie oil, one of them, um, a road opener that I've actually put on the bottom of my feet at times to help me get out of my own way. And so these are great. Um, these are great to have on hand for anointing um, and different things like that. And so I love them and they smell really good. Let me let me pop these real quick. So this is poof. And this actually almost has a like a baby powder scent to it, which is very pleasant. And this is red stiletto and this is almost like a butterscotch, which I'm not a butterscotch fan, but there is something about this that says take me home, girl, and use me. So, <laughs> very excited to have those and I will add those I'm adding those to the collection of those oils that I already have. So I'm pretty excited about that. Okay. Another. Okay. So <laughs> there is a company called Violet Flame. And Heather is the owner. And I adore her. I think that she is an amazing woman. She makes great products. And she was running a sale on bar soap. And I had to have them. They, oh, I've, I think I, I think what happened was, I think I bought one of her bar soaps at, for the roomie, and the roomie doesn't use bar soap, which she didn't confess to me at the time. So I ended up using the bar soap, and it was, like, amazing. And so I was like, I'll buy more. So here, um, Heather has a website, so I'll make sure to link that in the description box. So here we have a lilac soap so good very true to um to the herb or to the scent oh my gosh cider soap as in apple cider oh this is like i should have bought two of those but well whatever um i love i love everything lemongrass scented is that like i hope that's focusing but I mean, it says lemongrass soap. It's not like, it's not like there's a lot to read there. Um, Clary Sage. Mmm, yes, love that, love that. And then I ended up with two of the Spearmont Eucalyptus Tea Tree. Stop it. Absolutely stop it. Now there's a reason. There's a reason I bought two, but we'll figure that out in a little bit, okay? Are you excited? I'm excited to talk about it, but not yet. Um, Heather also, um, she makes this healing salve, healer's salve, as she calls it, and I swear by this. Absolutely swear by this. This is, does it have an ounce? So this is 0.25 ounces or seven grams. And this, so this is like the old school. If you're of my generation, you might remember these types of containers with uh, lip gloss in it. Remember that? Love these. Um, I find that this particular size will last about a year for me. So I've been buying these one a year for the last few years. And this is really good. This has, let's see, she uses uh, comfrey and lavender and calendula or calendula, depending on how you pronounce it, tea tree, willow bark, St. John's wort, as well as some other things in her um, mixture. And this stuff works really good for cuts and scrapes and things like that. Um, so it, it, this size, this is a smaller size. She has a, a larger size too. Um, but I find that this lasts me the year and it's small enough that I can put it in my purse. So I always have an antibiotic cream with me and I really, really like it. So that was this year's purchase. So the last thing I bought is another Coventry Creations product. And so this Jackie does these really cute little, um, they're called blessing kits. 
And so this is small votive size. Man, there's a lot of glare. There, okay, there we go. Hopefully you can see that. So these are sets of candles. There are three, three in a set. And so these are established candles from the line and their votive size as you can see there that is the size of the candle and so they're put together for a purpose so for this particular blessing kit this is for good karma so on the package it says good karma takes effort and commitment to personal healing use this triad of candles to begin the healing process Clear the karma from lifetimes and generations back, thus bringing this life into balance. Couldn't we all use a little help in that? And so the three candles that are in this set is emotional balance, healing, and needed changes. Now, what those colors are, I want to say that healing is the yellow, but I'm not really sure... Um, so these are all candles that you can buy uh, full sizes. I think you can probably purchase, yes, you can purchase uh, votive sizes as well of these. Um, so, you know, that's that's all very well and good. Um, but, Helen, why did you purchase this, you might ask? Well, I'm glad you asked because I wanted to share a little bit of convocation magic with one of my viewers. And so there's a secret giveaway in this video. So this is, the, this is it for what I purchased. So there's a giveaway. So the giveaway is for this particular set of bless this blessing kit of candles for good karma and I'm going to put in this second bar of soap that I purchased that is the spearmint eucalyptus tea tree so these two products made by amazing women um, small business yay awesome so so you might ask Helen how can one win this little giveaway well, let me tell you, here's what you got to do. The first thing is you have to subscribe to the channel. So if you haven't done so already, then I need you to go click that subscribe button right now. Okay. The second thing you need to do is you need to like this video. I want to see some likes happen in there, people. I like likes. The third thing that you need to do is... I want a comment of some kind. I want a comment in the description box that's, let's see, what is your favorite product from this haul video? All right. What is the one thing in this video that intrigued you and said, hmm, I may, might need one of those in my life? Let me know in the comments below. All right. So, those are the three things. Subscribe, like, and comment. And I will do a little pull in a week. So when I post this video, I will do a video or I will do a pull uh, one week later. And then we'll get these two amazing products to you. Okay? So that is it for this particular video. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope that everyone out there gets a chance to go to Convocation or to an event like it, like Panthea Con. Even if it's like a one day thing, like a Pagan Pride Day, make it a point to go out there and be a part of community and meet people and share in the magic that is community. So that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for walking the path for a little while with me. Until next time, blessed be.